Glad to say we're joined by uh, Zimbabwean Lenmore Kimberai Kimbari, uh, Magorimbo uh, to look at that uh, development and, of course, the uh, development surrounding the elections in Zimbabwe. Welcome, Lenmore. Good evening. How are you? Very well, thank you. Can you provide us an analysis of today's protests uh, by Zimbabweans in South Africa where uh, your countrymen are calling for the elections to be redone? Um, what are the main reasons behind the protest? Well, we know, of course, that it's because of the, uh, the feel of grief. But is this a possibility that the elections will be redone? Very true. Uh, you know, one, um, I would love to uh, commend and appreciate Zimbabweans from all walks of life and uh, from different political parties uh, who came together and uh, you know spoke in one voice in demanding for a fresh free fair and credible election um, you know it's no longer about uh, individuals it's it it has now gone beyond you know political lines therefore uh, a free and fair election cannot be avoided there is no you know <laughs> amount of uh, um, bribery or amount of intimidation to the regional and, you know, or, um, you know, uh, or to the international observers that would, you know, save ZANPF from going into a free and fair election that Zimbabweans who are actually, you know, their bosses, Zimbabweans, you know, it is the citizens who determine who they want you know, to be their leader. So I am sure if uh, the cause for a free, fair election continues and the pressure mounts from the citizens and with the solidarity from the um, regional and international community, certainly a free and fair election will happen in Zimbabwe. All right. Uh, 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 Lenmo, how representative do you think these protests are? of the general sentiment amongst the Zimbabwean po uh, population. We know ZANU-PF has been a very popular party in Zimbabwe, especially in the rural areas since independence. So we have a, a, a group of people in South Africa going on protests. Would you say they're indicative of widespread uh, dissatisfaction with the electoral results? Very true, uh, my brother. You know, um, every right think in Zimbabwe, that is not uh, a beneficiary or part of the uh, looting of our natural resources back home agrees with the notion that uh, a free and, if, and fair election is the solution to the political, uh, social and economic turmoil that is, uh, you know, that has gripped our country for decades now. Lenmo, are you there, please? Can you hear me? Okay, Lenmo, if you can hear me. Uh, yeah, I, I okay. can hear you now. Okay, please go. Okay. Uh, how, how do you assess the credibility of the electoral process in Zimbabwe? Um, we heard of reports of voter suppression. We saw, for instance, the uh, opposition candidate uh, of officials are given press conferences. And it was, um, it was, it was oh, raided, you know, yes. Our nationalists. Sorry, I, I lost you. Oh, sorry about that. How do you assess the credibility of the election process or electoral process in Zimbabwe? We've had allegations of irregularities, voter suppression, even suppression of the opposition party officials. All right. I, as an individual, in, I, I, in strongest terms, you know, uh, believe that uh, the process does not in any way uh, relate to an election but a total fraud or a tradition to just legitimatize the gold mafia club as a government of Zimbabwe. These people are actually have been, actually <clears throat> it's a process that is meant to, you know, impose the very same old faces to retain power and, you know, uh, create a, 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 a perspective that, uh, elections do take place in Zimbabwe. 
but Zimbabwe have not seen a democratic election for decades now. And, uh, you know, <laughs> the deliberate, imperfect um, administration of, uh, you know, the whole electoral process, in particular, uh, the delimitation uh, process, which is key in the election, in any election, it was marked right. with, with several irregularities that were meant to, you know, give an upper hand to the ruling party, Sanu PF, and, uh, you know, uh, right. disadvantaging the opposition, which, which is a sign that uh, the election was, you know, not free in any way. And All right, Lemo, we, we, we have to leave it at that, uh, but I want to thank you very much for your time. I mean, we've seen the media coverage of these protests, uh, the presenting memoranda to government officials to present to the government, and they're talking to SADC. It's only time to tell if uh, uh, groups like SADC can convince the ZANU PF to organize another election. But thank you very much for your time. Uh, Alenmo Kimbirai, uh, Mago Rimbo. All right, thank you.